Hello everyone, I'm the Spookiest Ghost, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be playing Trom. Um, I don't really know anything about this game, except for it's a game about this guy that's dreaming. Um, and it has like some... <sighs> this, this is really, really loud for you and for me. So, um, I don't know much about this game. It has some psychological horror elements to it. Um, has good reviews, and it's free on Steam if you want to play it. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get started, because this is too loud. Okay, there we go. Anyway, I guess, let's wake up. Irma, the moment I saw you, I hoped. The moment you smiled, I knew. I knew what I wanted and what I needed to do. Slow steps, hands shaking, sweat pouring. I walked. Under my breath I asked. Your eyes answered. It was destiny. As we stand here, I promise you, I cannot give you the moon from the sky. I cannot build you the castle by the sea. I can only give myself to you, with my flaws, with my weaknesses, with my love. I will never leave your side and I will never let you down. I'm yours and you're mine forever." Oh, that's really cute. I was gonna make a joke about how nobody was asking him for the moon in the first place, but I feel like I, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. That's cute. Uh-oh, sleeping on the job. Pfft. Hmm? Oh my god, this is this is so cool this is so nostalgic because it's it's like those games back in like the beginning of um the like gaming craze on youtube when everyone was playing like ioni and um i think that's what it's called okay but for real though just just for one second can we talk about how ugly this motherfucker is i mean look just just look at him just real quick okay he's not the only thing scary about him is how busted he looks ah, look at the top of his head <laughs> <laughs> look at his lips <laughs> and uh you know all those different rpgs corpse party and shit that's cute huh what there's someone at the door Oh right, I locked the thing after everyone left. Made me feel a bit safer. Never really liked being left alone. If everyone's gone, why is somebody knocking on the door of the office? I wonder if I heard right. No, there's someone there. Maybe I should get that before it breaks. What? Before it breaks? Okay. Oh my god, the graphics are so much better than the last game I played. That might not even be on my channel, so you guys might not know what I'm talking about. I really should get the door. Yeah, okay, I got it, but what is this? How do you- I wanna look. Ah, the place of gossip and intrigue. <laughs> True. Drink water? Sure. Guys, stay hydrated, drink that water. I have a nagging suspicion that whoever it is is gonna keep knocking until I open that damn thing. Okay, Jesus, I'm going to open the fucking door. Oh my god. Peek through the keyhole. Damn, I can't see clearly who it is. I thought I was alone in here. Um, If that's an axe murderer and I die in this damn building, I'm gonna haunt the hell out of it. Um, I don't wanna open this door. No. Okay, I guess we have to open it. You unlock the door and slowly open it, carefully peeking through between the door and the frame. Okay. Oh, it's Chris. Thank God. He's one of the few workers here who I actually get along with. But why is he still here? I thought his shift ended hours ago. I wonder what time it is. Jesus, Mike, you're still here? It's almost 9 p.m. Why don't you just go home? It's that late already? Boss demanded that I get this report done today. Damn, I must have fallen asleep. What was that? Oh, he was yawning. Look at you. You're like a zombie. It ain't healthy, you know? 
I know, I know, it's just that I'm drowning with work and if this isn't done by tomorrow, I'm in real trouble. Aw, what a good friend. I hear you. How are things at home? Everything okay with the missus? What? Why do you ask? Has she said anything to you? What? Huh? No, it's just the fact that you've been practically living here the past week. We're fine, I suppose. She just wanted to have some time on her own, so she took the kids and went to her mother's. Ooh, that's a... That's a bad sign. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. I haven't been in a serious relationship. Why am I saying that like I know what the fuck I'm talking about? Kids? Yeah, kids. What of it? I thought... Never mind. Aw, oh, shit, Mike. Sorry I brought it up. I didn't know. No, no, it's okay. We're gonna work this through. I know it. Every marriage has its rocky patches, right? I wouldn't know. I've never been hitched. I'm sure it'll all work out in the end. I really do hope so. Damn, that's kind of sad. He looks real sad. Never would have guessed, though. She seemed so happy last week. Why were you seeing my girl last week? Huh? M you want to go, Mike? You want to take this shit outside, fam? What are you- What? Okay. <laughs> what? You saw her last week. Why? Where? Well, yeah, she was here. Came out from the boss's room, had some package with her. I didn't think anything of it. I thought she was here to visit you. No, I'm not- <laughs> I'm not even gonna say what I was gonna say. Forget it. I know the two of you used to- <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I know the two of you used to bang in the bathroom. Don't deny it, I've heard the noises. I want- React! I want to see his reaction. What the hell? I didn't even- I didn't know she was here? Oh, my man's sweating. Sorry, but I thought you knew. No, I didn't. Why would she be here? You're asking me. How should I know? It's probably nothing, Mike. Don't worry about it. Any case, I'm gonna head home now. I can barely keep my eyes open. You should too. Remember to lock the door when you leave. I always lock the door. Right. See you tomorrow, Mike. Why do they have like the same face? My wife was here? Why was she here? She didn't tell me anything. It'll pro- It's probably nothing, though. I shouldn't get all riled up. You pause for a moment and take a deep breath. You know, gotta- Gotta get that- Gotta get into character, you know what I mean? You can feel your anxiety levels rising and you clench your fists. Oh shit, we mad. Why the hell was she here? Was she bad-mouthing me? I'm sure she was. That's all she does nowadays. Should I call and ask her? I need to get home. Ooh. You check your pockets and fail to find your keys. Damn, my man having a bad night. Where are my keys? Did I leave them somewhere? Now we gotta look for his keys. They probably lie at my desk somewhere. Find your keys, yep. It's pretty predictable though. Just some boxes, files, endless forms of all kinds. What is this eye? Um, okay, this is my desk. How do I look around my desk? Oh. Um, inspect, search desk, search left drawer. Okay. Should really keep this thing more organized. There's hardly a spot that isn't covered with papers or coffee stains. Oh, my dude, you need to clean that up. At least the coffee stains. You're gonna get bugs, dude. There's my work phone, boring binders, and anything you might need for office work. Search, search the desk, duh. You don't find your keys, but do get a glimpse at the picture of your wife. A reminder from happier times. We looked so happy back then. It felt like nothing could keep us apart and the world was at our feet. You smile by yourself and squeeze the frames harder. Oh, are we gonna cry? Five years ago. 
I can't believe you dragged me with you. You know I don't really care for outdoors. Come on, love. Look at this place. Isn't this beautiful? Straight from a postcard. This is... Okay, this place has seen better days. Damn, this shit is loud. Your wife looks at you and rolls her eyes. You think? Damn, you don't gotta be a bitch about it. I do have reason why we're here, though. There is something I need to tell you. You may want to sit down. Your wife looks at you with a worried look in her eyes. What? What is it? There's no easy way to tell this, so I'll just say it. You place your hand on your wife's cheek. She looks like she's ready to faint. I got the job! Hell yeah! You smile at your wife, waiting for her reaction. At first she looks confused, but after a sigh of relief she smiles, jumps at you, and hugs you. I'm so sorry if this audio is like loud to the point where um, you can't really hear my voice, but I don't really know how to lower the audio during a cutscene. Jesus, Mike, you scared the crap out of me, you ass. She laughs. You got the job? You can't joke about this, Mike. Did you really get it? You nod and smile at your wife. Oh, his name is Mike. I thought his coworker's name was Mike. Oops. That's really great. But how do we... I mean, the office isn't near here. Are we going to move? And that brings us to my next point. Your wife looks at you with great anticipation. Is there a homeless man over there? <laughs> oh, he's got some booze. Is, I, I, I don't know what that is. I don't even want to say what that is anyway. I asked around and there is this one bank that is ready to grant the loan. We can get that house we've been looking at. We can get our own home. Oh, you better be able to pay that mortgage though. We can move real soon. Do you want to? You're even asking? Of course I do. Aww. <laughs> then I'll make the call when we get back. You smile at your wife. She looks around. I'm really happy that we can move. This isn't the area where we can raise kids. It's not safe for them. I know. Now we can finally start our family. What is it? I love you, Irma. Let's never break up. Let's be together forever. Promise? I love you too, Mike. You didn't promise. Ooh. Your wife smiles and looks at you. I promise. Good. But they didn't spit shake on it, though. <laughs> How can you take it seriously? <laughs> Okay, search the drawers. You scour through the left drawer, but the only thing you find is a brown envelope. You open it. Oh look, this is my resignation letter. I wrote this some time ago when I was really, really fed up with all this. Ooh, I've been there, my man. I've been there. I never delivered this, though, since I was the only one working back then, and we needed the money. But now things are different, right? The house is pretty much paid, I have no loans, and my wife... My wife is supporting herself at the moment. Do I really need this job? I could just go and show a big middle finger to the boss and leave this shitty place. I never liked this job anyway. All I'd need to do is to leave this letter on the boss's table and be done with it. Ooh, that's really unprofessional, but also I can't talk because the last job... No, that's not true. The job before the last job I had, I... I didn't give any notice at all, I just did a no call, no show because fuck that place, but that's besides the point. Take the letter? Sure. You take the letter with you. You search the drawer and curse loudly when you realize your keys are not there, but you do find your cell phone. Great, phone is out of battery. These goddamn smartphones won't last a day. Times one, how many cell phones are we gonna get throughout the game? You pick it up and put it in your pocket. You also notice that your lunchbox is in the drawer. Why the- 
Why is this here? This should be in the fridge in the ba- it- This should be in the fridge in the break room. Can I just say, when he said that his lunchbox was in there, I immediately imagined like one of those like kid lunchboxes with like Spider-Man or some shit on it. <laughs> Can you imagine if he went into the break room with his like PB&J in his Spider-Man lunchbox? <laughs> My keys are not here. Where could they be? I better check the other rooms. Okay. I've never seen a desk as filthy as this. Okay, they're probably not gonna be there. Also, I forgot that you can just move with the arrow keys. What is this? Are they in the garbage? It's a trash can, mostly filled with paper, unfinished ideas, and broken promises? Damn. I'm not going to dig through this. It's trash. Yeah, you don't want to get any broken promises on your hands, now do you? It's a microwave oven. Nothing special about it. Okay. The plant would be the o The plant would be the only sign of life here were it not fake. Now it just sits there lifelessly like the rest of us in this godforsaken room. Damn, my man really hates his job. Can it be in these? It's filled with forms of all kinds. I don't need any of them right now. Okay. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Open! My god! If my keys ain't here, they must be somewhere else. Better look for them. <laughs> Yo, it- I love that his boss's office just straight up says boss on it. Like, it- The boss doesn't have a name. His name is just- Boss. I mean, that's pretty boss if you ask me, though. Office's vending machine. For $2, you can increase your chance for a heart attack. Office's vending machine. Oh, same shit. Okay. Um, did my boss steal my keys? Yo, that better not be a picture of my wife. It's a picture of, um... Hey, wait a minute. This is Holda Wahlberg, the famous adult actress. <laughs> Why did he have her picture framed? Obsessed much? Yo. <laughs> I'm just imagining if I went into my boss's office back when I was working in an um, in office job and he just had like a framed photograph of a porn star on his desk and it's facing the door too so literally anybody that walks in can see it. That's... That's hilarious. Oh my god. This man is a straight savage. He does not give a single fuck. You curiously peek inside your boss's trash bin. Amongst the paper rubbish, some letters and receipts, you find a note with some numbers on it. The note says, the new key is 2573. Pre Please don't lose this. IT department. Okay. Uh, you come across your boss's desk. This room, with all its belongings, makes you uncomfortable. Then suddenly, something starts to hammer the back of your head. Some time ago. Oh, he got like anime girls and shit on his wall in his office. You wanted to see me, sir? Oh, let me see. I'm trying to do a little bit more voice acting for these games. So let me see if I can do like a really serious voice. No, I can't. Yes. Let me get straight to it. What the hell is this, Smalling? How can you fuck this up? This isn't rocket science. The boss slams his fist against the desk so hard that his cigar case falls on the floor. I'm sorry, sir. I'll do better next time. Smalling, I've seen so many mistakes from you that I don't know if there'll be a next time. Ooh, shit. I should kick your sorry ass out of this building right now. Damn, look at all that spit. I'll fix this, sir. Please give me more time. You better. This is your last chance, small one. I mean, look at all that spit. Ooh, my man's breath is probably hot, too. Look at this shit. Do not leave your desk until this is done properly. Do you understand? Say it. I understand, sir. Well, no wonder he wants to quit. What? I can't hear you. 
The boss yells so hard that you notice pieces of spit flying everywhere. I told you. Nasty. Ooh. Nah, fuck them. Fuck him. You stay quiet and notice the boss's face turn red. You stubborn piece of... Get out of here. Crawl back to your desk. Oh, crawl back to you, desk. I'm sorry. One chance, Smalley. One fucking chance. Don't fuck it up. I won't, sir. Thank you, sir. Yo, we're a simp for the boss. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. All these memories. Okay. Anything else to look at? Uh... I don't think so. A leather couch. I don't even want to think about what has happened on that thing. Uh, okay, I don't think there's really anything else to see in this room. Okay, so I guess we'll just leave. Anything in these boxes? No. That's the elevator. Oh, should we get some more water? Oh, I'm not thirsty. But you know who is thirsty? Me. Get your drink on, you know? But but not alcohol, because we don't support underage drinking on this channel, okay? It's just water. I hate it when they don't even bother to clean up their mess. I mean, that that's an office for you. Was that another porn magazine? <laughs> Daily magazines, couple of old comics, stuff that people devour while they eat their food additive filled nuggets. Okay, and what did you have for lunch, sir? Okay, a quinoa bowl? Oh, I had fucking lettuce. You notice a note left at the fridge door. Someone left their keys in the fridge? Well... Okay. <laughs> They're now in the reception. There's a word idiot scribbled below. How nice. Well, you know what? Well, the reception is downstairs in the lobby. I should head there. I'm sorry, sir, but how the fuck did you- How did you forget your keys in the fridge? Yeah, no offense, but you kind of are an idiot. That's like the one place I would never expect him to have left his freaking keys, dude. I keep pressing the hand. I'm sorry, that's why it's taking so long. What's this? Reception to the right, elevator's back of this corridor. No shit. Oh hey, it's an old issue of Tisset, a vintage Finnish gentleman's magazine. Why is it so sticky? Uh, why- okay, first of all, why is that there? In the office. And second of all, my man, I think you know why it's so sticky. Of course the door's locked. Just my luck. There's a keypad there, though. I wonder if that note I found has the correct key in it. Oh! What? Seven? Seven? Five? Eight? One? What was that code again? My memory is good, but so damn short. How do I check my... Oh, yeah. 2573. Okay. Okay. 2... 5... 7... 3. There we go. Here's a box for lice, lice? <laughs> lost items. Inside, amongst a pair of glasses, a couple of memory sticks, a calculator, a pink... The usual office equipment. Yeah, you know, I mean, no office is complete without at least one pink... I hope my mom doesn't come home while I'm saying that. <laughs> you find your keys. I don't think my mom's home, though, anyway. 
Okay, so we don't need our keys anymore. Okay. Find our keys, check. I think we have to go back upstairs because we have to finish that shit, right? Damn, this really is like some throwback gameplay. Like, you don't see games like this that often anymore. That's my desk. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Wow, you- that's a- That's a cubicle. You laugh at your own joke. That's- Listen, I laugh at my own jokes all the time, but that's not funny, dude. Wait, so we're not working? Okay. So what the fuck are we supposed to do now? Just walk around? Go home? Yeah, I guess. Where else are we supposed to go? Streets. Didn't resign. Oh, shit. Okay, first of all, my dude, did you not notice the car? And second of all, I didn't even think about the fact that we could have left the letter on the boss's desk. I might go back and redo that. You slowly regain consciousness and feel that your entire head is covered in bandages, blocking your eyes. Feeling around with your hands, you realize that you're lying in a bed somewhere. Hearing the constant beeping sound is getting very annoying. What? What happened? Where am I? You feel around and notice there's something stuck in your arm. Feels like an IV line. Rip out the line? Uh... Yes. Sabotage yourself. You rip out whatever was stuck in your arm. It stung, but it doesn't take long for you to feel much better. You start to unravel the bandages over your head. Why are you doing that? They're there for a reason. Oh, but I mean, we look fine. Your eyes take a moment to adjust to the bright lights. I should... I should get up. Oh. You black out for a moment as you fall down from the bed. The floor feels very cold and I accidentally clicked before I could reading. You notice something on your finger. It's attached to the monitor nearby. What the hell is this? Some kind of clothespin? Take off the clothespin? Uh... Yes. You take the object off and you soon notice it was measuring your heart rate. Oh, that makes sense. Right. How wonderful! Now that sound got even more annoying. I need to find a way to shut that thing down. I'm pretty sure that a nurse is probably gonna be like, Oh shit, did he die? Okay. Oh, that shit really is annoying. I, I don't know, do we just leave? I can't press anything. Oh, thank god it stopped. Any more of that crazy sound and I would have gone crazy. Why did I read it like that? <laughs> Oh, thank God it stopped. Any more of that sound and I would have gone crazy. I'm sorry. Am I in a hospital? How did I get here? I need to get home. Where's all my stuff? I need my clothes, my keys, and my phone before I go anywhere. That locker looks like the place to store clothes. I should check there. Okay, collect your stuff and find a way out. Better put my clothes on. I should save. Save? I'm gonna save twice, just in case. Okay. Moving on. Alright, we're supposed to find a way out. I need to collect my stuff before leaving. What do you- Just did. Where else would my stuff be? My keys. Okay. So where's my phone? How can I live without my phone? That's the most important thing. The hell? Why is my phone in the trash bin? Who put it there? Yeah. Who put my precious cell phone in there? <laughs> I like how I'm saying that like 
Like I can live without my phone. I can't. Still out of battery. I don't have a charger here, so no one calling with this one. Okay, now we can leave. Oh, it's my boy Chris. Jesus, Mike, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, we're... Damn. Oof, my man is fucked. Chris, what? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? The real question is why you're still here and not in the party. It's mandatory to participate, you know. Motherfucker, I'm in the hospital. <laughs> Yo, can <laughs> imagine, imagine if I was in a coma. Like, imagine if if the car accident was was so bad that I was in a coma and I was in critical condition at the hospital. And this motherfucker comes in, shaking me like, "Come on, man, we gotta go to the party. It's mandatory." I mean, you're I know you're in a coma, but stop being a lazy bitch and get up. I can't fucking believe that. It's mandatory, you know. Yeah, sorry. I was just in the hospital after I got hit by a car. Come on, Mike. We're in a hurry. What party? You're seriously gonna wear that? Bitch! I just got into a car accident. We're in the hospital. <laughs> Yo, my man got me fucked up right now. No, you're not gonna wear that. Wear what? Chris, what the hell are you talking about? Yo, I look like a crackhead though, for real. I mean, look. <laughs> if you saw this man walking down the street, you'd be terrified. Don't act like you wouldn't be. That outfit? We're late, and you're looking like something that crawled out of a trash can. Yeah. <sighs> you know what? This is not the homie anymore, okay? Because I was like... Chris is chill, but nah, fuck you. I don't like you anymore. Okay, here's what we do. You go get that tuxedo from the dresser, slip into that, and then we're off. With any luck, we might make it in time, but only if I drive. What? Mike, just do it, goddammit. Get that tuxedo, get dressed, and get out of this damn room. We have to go now. Okay. Why is there a tuxedo? I'm guessing we're dreaming now, though. What the? This wasn't here before. This wasn't fucking here before. Cause you're dreaming, dude. I'll wait outside while you get changed. But hurry up, everyone's waiting for us. Wear the tuxedo? I mean... I mean, right now we're in a pretty sick fit, though. But I- okay, fine, whatever, we'll wear the tuxedo. You pick up the tuxedo, examine it, and shrug. We'll do one thing that people want us to do, fine. I need to talk to Chris. Uh... What? Whoa! What happened? Did I black out? You look at your clothes. Wait, didn't I? This is getting way too creepy. I'm certain I changed these clothes. Chris. I need to talk to Chris. He's waiting for me outside. Right? Ooh, this is- this is getting good, you know what? This is a free game, but it's- it's pretty good, so shout out to you guys for now. Question mark? <laughs> I like that they do that little, like, wagging thing with the question mark. Where is everyone? Chris, where are you? What the- How? You look at your phone. Doesn't show who's calling. Only a blank screen. Maybe it's Chris. Answer the phone? Yes. H hello Your phone suddenly shuts down. What? The? Fuck? You throw the phone away. 
Also, why did I say it like that? That was kind of weird. I'm sorry. But for real though, what the fuck is going on? Oh. That's... Visit Ari Island. Fun for everyone. Something is scribbled below. Don't visit. It's a depressing place. Damn. Oh hey, a Finnish flag. What's that small text underneath? Finland gained her independence a hundred years ago. That's 1917, folks. 6th of September, to be exact. Time for a celebration. Signed, Yorma. I'm guessing it's Yorma. Huh. A hundred years is a long time. Good for them. Are we in Finland? Because why is there so many, like, references to Finland? Maybe the developers are Finnish. <clears throat> it's locked. What is this? A table. Okay. What is this? Can I pick it up? No, that's just a camera. What the? Hello? Is someone there? I mean, there's a baby. I don't know if you expect them to answer, though. It went all silent. Um, okay, I guess we can't go in there. Can we? It's quiet now. No, we can't. Okay. What time is it? Okay, we're not allowed to see the time. It's locked. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. Huh? Was someone there? Chris? Was that Chris? Maybe I should go check it out. Uh, that's usually not a good idea, but a hallway. Was there a hallway before? Or was there a... I'm sorry. Was there a hallway here before? No, there wasn't. It's quiet now. Is there any way I can check how long I've been recording? How long is this damn hallway? It makes no sense at all. Oh, shit. What the? Okay, this was a bad idea. Uh, yeah, motherfucker, it was. I told you. Run, Mike. Just run. Oh, shit. Okay, how do I run? <laughs> what the hell was that? Wait a minute. This place seems familiar. Oh. What the? I know this place. Is it the hospital? Mike, stop pacing around. He's late. I hate waiting. It's been almost an hour. I'm sure he'll be here any minute. Sit down, relax, read a magazine or something. Flailing around like a madman doesn't help anything. Why are we here? That's a good question. You know why. No, I don't. I'm telling you, there's nothing wrong. This is useless. Mike, you agreed. At least now we'll have an answer. I know I agreed, but I'm telling you, there's nothing wrong with me. I can feel it. We just have to try harder. We've been trying for so long, and... And nothing. I mean, I... I want... No. I need answers. Something, Mike. I need something. Fine. But when he comes and tells the results, you'll see there's nothing but grade A Navy SEALs coming out of me. <laughs> Damn, bro. You look at your wife and give her a wink. She smiles at you. You know... what? Oh! It's... You know, while we wait, we could go and... Oh. <laughs> Damn, my man just got cock blocked by the doctor. <laughs> Mr. Smalling. 
I am. Who responds to that like that? I don't know, maybe I'm just weird. Hello, I'm Dr. Jones. I'm terribly sorry I kept you waiting. I mean, that's just the hospital for you. It's fine. Please, follow me. Mike, may I come with you? Uh, okay. Of course, I want you to hear this. Please, have a seat. I'd rather stand. Okay. As you know, having a child is a difficult process. For healthy couples, it may take years and years. Just to cut, just cut to the chase, doctor. The results are in, no? Yes. Well then, let's hear it. Mr. Smalling, there's really no easy way to tell you this. You're a very healthy man, but... But? You glance at your wife. She's pale as a sheet. I'm very sorry, Mr. Smalling. The tests show that your sperm is very weak and it's practically impossible for you to father a child. What? I'm sorry. Damn, this is... Yo, this is like a, a... This is like one of those, like... This is like House. Or like Grey's Anatomy. No, that's impossible, Doc. There's no way my soldiers ain't up for the fight. No fucking way. Is that normal to refer to your sperm as soldiers? <laughs> There's no need for profanity, Mr. Smalling. Fuck that, Doc. Do the tests again. Something must have gone wrong. There's no goddamn way that is correct. These tests have a 99% reliability, Mr. Smalling. They're correct, but it's not the end of the world. There are multiple ways for couples like you to have your own children. Oh, your own child, sorry. No, I refuse to believe this. Your tests are a damn hoax. Come on, honey, we're leaving. We're going to another doctor, someone who can actually do his job. Damn. Your wife stands up. You notice her eyes getting teary and she starts to sob. Mike, I... She wipes her eyes. I need a moment, please. Alone. Please, Mike. I'm very sorry, Mr. Smalling. Damn. God. What the? How many times have we said that in this game? What? No? Wait, why did I say that as a question? What? No! What? This... This can't be. This ain't the right room. I don't know, I feel like... I feel like this game has been going on for a really long time. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna end this video here. I don't know how long I've been recording, but it feels like I've been recording for a pretty long time. So, um... If you like this video, you can leave a like and subscribe, and let me know if there are any different games that you would like to see me play. I have a bunch of different games, so um, you'll probably see more of these videos more often. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. I hope you are enjoying this game. Uh, so far, it's it's not bad. It's It's not the best game I've ever played, but it's definitely not bad enough that I wouldn't want to continue playing it, you know? Um, so yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the Spookiest Ghost, and hopefully I will see you guys next time.